Hello folks, so this is future Anne jumping into last weekend's vlog because some unfortunate events came up and I didn't feel right not addressing them. Today a video got released of a man from Minneapolis being killed by the police. Um, this happened like 10 minutes from my house and it's gone like nationally, globally, uh, pretty much it would be hard if you didn't see it. Man, his name is George Floyd. He got killed by, uh, I think it was the North Minneapolis Police Department. He was charged with forgery, which basically means he was counterfeit money, something along those lines. It was a non-violent crime. The worst sentencing is if you've done this more than four times and they caught you is like 20 years in prison, but you can also just see it as a felony and not do any prison time but because he was black he probably would have gone away for life but that is a whole other video and he wasn't armed with anything one of the police officers literally choked him to death and if you watch the video it's horrifying you can hear George screaming I can't breathe um, I'm no cop but I'm pretty sure that's against protocol if someone is literally suffocating and your knees are on their neck and the sad thing is this is not the first time a police brutality has happened in Minnesota a couple years ago we had Philando Castile and there have been numerous other ones that didn't get national media coverage and Minnesota is a really progressive state we're known for being super nice and welcoming and this just goes against all that racial injustices are more alive now than probably ever the divide is so prominent you would have to purposely not be looking in order to not to see the racial divides this is just a psa specifically for white people because that's the only perspective i can talk about is talk to your family talk to your friends about your own privilege and about racism address it head on the first step is acknowledging it and then you can progress from there uh, this should not have happened ever it wouldn't have happened to a white man and we just need to acknowledge that i just wanted to preface this whole video with this rant because again i was editing the video and i just it i felt almost icky if i would have put it out and not say anything thoughts and prayers with george floyd's family but thoughts and prayers are not even enough i'm doing my own research in terms of what i can do to fight racial injustices even from like the grassroots level and i'm ready to put my money where my mouth is and not just post something on instagram like black lives matter and call it good because that's not doing anyone any good i mean it's better than nothing but yeah so i'm gonna think about it and because i know if we just had something like this happen in georgia a couple weeks ago and it's gonna continue to happen until we all step up and say enough is enough so yeah i'm gonna put some resources in the description box uh specifically aimed towards white people and like what we can do uh, because we can do a lot even though we don't have the same skin color as these people being oppressed We still can use our voice for the greater good on to the video No. <laughs> no. You don't remember all last summer? Oh, I dropped something. Oh, that's oh. so disgusting. That makes me not want to go to the cabin. <laughs> Initiate summer. So we made it to Wisconsin. We only are doing one stop, and that is to get gas. We're not going to any restaurants, no takeout, nothing, because we're in like a small town and we don't want to bring anything here if we have anything. And Wisconsin's really lax about their laws. Like they're completely open. The bars are open, everything. And so I feel like the Rona here is pretty high. No one's wearing masks. 
no one cares. So we're just gonna get our, get our gas and get out. So we're currently putting the boat in. I absolutely despise this. It brings me so much anxiety and it roots from one cause. About eight years ago, while we were doing this, the boat fell off the lift. We had an eventful start to the summer, but Father, care to explain what happened to begin this summer? Well, my son was going to put the boat in, but he had the chain off and <laughs> the winch wasn't locked and it just flew right onto the concrete uh, apron that goes into the lake and the bob <laughs> boat was stuck mm -hmm. on it and we mm -hmm. couldn't get it up or down. And, and so it was just like on the land um, and I don't know how they fixed it but ever since then I refused to watch this happen I like ghost in a corner plug my ears and then once it's done I reap all the benefits bless them for actually being responsible as for me I just sit back and observe okay folks so here's the deal I have nothing to say there. I just thought that was a good opportunity to like show that I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. Friday night, first weekend up at the cabin for the year. Again, hashtag blessed. I'm a savage. Yeah. I love how laziness is now a cute, quirky personality trait. Like, right? I know, this is my moment. I've been waiting for this all my life. Again, nothing to say here, just wanted to be dramatic and make that entrance. Oh, Father, Father. Make, father, make sure father. you get Annie filming herself while the rest of us are getting the boat ready to put in the water. Oh, I know, I made it very clear I'm not contributing at all. Yes. At all. And who will be the first one to want to go water skiing? Me. Her. We love white trash. battery died. He's a bodybuilder because he's towing the boat. Like, you ain't ish boy. Like, calm yourself. Again, the, e the ego's out of control it's and it's trying. sickening. Right. I'm a fit girl. On one jog last August. <laughs> Mom's in the drink. First time of the season. If I don't have a wifey that's willing to submerge herself completely in probably 40 degree water, I don't want her. Lucy's and I eat breakfast. I put up this nice little blockade because I was afraid if I did see him, it would make me lose my appetite. So, you know, get out of here, no. Yeah, I no. fell and the moment I was in it was awful like the water is not in the least bit pleasant and, and then mom the date today? The 23rd? And mom took her sweet time coming to get me so I was in the water for probably five yeah, minutes Yeah, why were you doing this? Because I was like mom you're going out half a mile like, I you were injured. No, like, no, I, no Well, she literally stopped the boat waited and was like oh, I'll pick her up. So it took five minutes <laughs> two to zero, folks. The first time I've led Anne in two wars in probably close to a decade. So, big things pop. Don't get too comfortable, sweetheart. Being responsible brought a really plush, nice big towel. And Lucy just has to dry his entire body. Just put, hold up this. It's a rag. With a, literally a used rag. <laughs> we have a new yoga destination. Blump, I can pass that class. Can't drop below, she ain't got no ass. Got her own job, cause she got it like that. This is for your everyday girl. Dancing in the mirror to pretend she's so. Made us Euros, and I am pumped. Ah, yeah. Alright. Mom! That woman's an angel. 
it's so effing good. Oh. Eat in the canoe. Oh. Sweet Mother Magdalene. Ah. <laughs> I mean, it's no hedra grease, but ah. I will never not eat a euro without saying it's not as good as the stuff in Greece. I can't see for ish. Father, what's your vision? Negative two, two? Ish. <laughs> I don't look male. I don't look male. <laughs> I, don't. I look like an ugly aunt. Oh my. <laughs> sitting literally in the middle of the fire no f's given like look at that that sucks <laughs> guys it's just hard like looking this good all the time i just can never feel like a normal girl you look worse than normal first ski run of the year the conditions are less than ideal very wavy out um very cold. Uh, the water is 14 degrees. It's 85 degrees, man. Okay, but the water is ice. So yes, but we're still gonna do it because nevertheless, she persisted. Elizabeth Warren. Stuff Bear Conchega is the only viewer of her striptease. Yeah, it gets crazy up there when no one's watching. After school around that boy, though, she's afraid to do the talking. There was a point where it was a little close to comfort to another boat. Well, that, I was watching him and he just kept coming in. I know. And so it was... It wasn't up to social distancing standards. No. Usually it's the legs that are yeah. tired, the first one, but this part. Oh. So, yeah. so tired. Well... You're getting old. Woo! All right, Lucius, the time has come. Rest assured, it is very, very bad the second you get in. But then, once you're up, everything is Gucci. Unlike these glasses, broke boy status. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> Shortness of breath. Let us get it. Ball caps on my head ain't seen. I got a fresh polo tucked into my jeans. I'm like, hey, lady, ain't supposed to eat that. She said, and why not? Because it's not your cheese. Like, oh my god, yeah. Yeah, I guess she wasn't having it. Funny pop. Now, can you make me a sandwich? <clears throat> okay. Poof, you're a sandwich. Another blank stare. I can't believe she isn't laughing yet. This one, I swear that you like. Don't part. Amy, Don't stop part. rolling your <laughs> eyes. You hear about that guy who invented the knock knock joke? Well, he won the Nobel Prize. Oh my, like, seriously? Dad, stop. All your jokes are unbearable. Well, I write them on paper, and paper is terrible. Okay, lock me up, because these jokes are unhealthy, but I'll take my own mugshot. This one is in the books. Monday night, we're headed home for another week of work. Back in the office, aka at home. Thank you for watching and until next time. All of the self. I got dad jokes. I don't think they understand though. Gotta think I'm funny. Other people never laugh though.